Guys, what's up? So, uh, I know it's been a while since my uh, last video. It's been like 11 days or something like that since I told you guys that I passed the uh, technician's ham exam. And uh, I told you that I would update you when I got my call sign. Good news, the day's upon us. I got my call sign. I'm really happy and I'm excited. For those of you that are curious, my call sign is KE8. B S M. That's uh, Kilo Echo 8 Bravo Sierra Mike. So I'm excited to get on the air. And um, uh, to do that, I actually did a little celebration. Um, it was my birthday last week. So, kind of as a little like gift to myself, if you will, I picked up this. Sorry. Hang on a sec. There we go. I picked up this. This is a uh, Wuxin or Wuxin. Um, I've heard it now. Like I've heard this name pronounced so many times now. Uh, Wuxin or Wuxin. Uh, this is a, a KG UV nine five zero P. Um, I picked this up from uh, BuyTwoWayRadios.com. Um, they are not paying me uh, to say that. Uh, just so you know, um, I bought this. They're not giving me a money. They're not giving me money for this. They're not reimbursing me or anything like that for this. Um, I, I, I'm just telling you where I bought it. <laughs> so um, I got this along with a uh, with a uh, 12 volt uh, power supply, so I can operate this as a base unit. Um, it's a rudimentary setup right now. Um, my next purchase will be a outdoor dual band uh, two meters uh, two meter four forty uh, antenna. Um, right now, I'm just using a a car antenna, as you can see up there, um, just sitting on top of the shelf. Um, I don't plan on transmitting in the house, um, mostly because um, I live smack dab, kind of in the middle of two repeaters, and I'm just out of reach. Uh, for both of them, uh, like I can hear the tone. Like I just uh, actually, I just keyed one up today, um, and uh, I threw my call out there to see if anyone was on. And I let go of the uh, I let go of the uh, PTT, and I got the tone, um, but I'm not sure if it's uh, hitting the uh, um, like if my voice is actually hitting the repeater or not. So I don't know. Uh, but I am getting the tone, uh, when, um, w when I let go. So I'm pretty sure I have the, uh, um, I'm pretty sure I have the PLCT CSS tones, right. For, uh, the two repeaters, uh, in, in the area. So, um, yeah, um, I'm excited. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, my brother-in-law also got his ham license too. We actually took the test together uh, at the same time, and um, uh, we're gonna try to uh, um, we're gonna try to communicate with each other through the uh, uh, linked repeater system here in my area and see if we can uh, talk to each other. Um, I'm gonna be running uh, some errands uh, this afternoon, so uh, I'll be in the car. And I'm not taking this uh, radio here with me. I'm just going to take this uh, this other Wuxian, my HT, um, because I don't have any battery terminals connected to the uh, – um, or not, term not terminals. I don't have, uh, like, battery rings uh, connected to the uh, – to, uh, to this radio uh, right now because um, – well, it didn't come with any, <laughs> and uh, I uh, I, <clears throat> I need to buy some things. So, um, like I said, this is a rudimentary setup right now, very basic. Um, just because, well, I'm new to this and I'm new to the hobby, and yeah, um, looking forward to uh, getting on the air. Um, like I said, I've, I threw my call out on a couple of repeaters, got tones back, but I'm not sure if my voice hit the uh, repeater or not so um yeah uh, my plan for now is just to uh like when i'm doing transmitting work and whatnot i um i'll be outside uh on my deck um which is um 10 feet off the ground 
So that will add some elevation to the antenna for sure. <clears throat> um, and I'm just going to have to use this antenna for right now um, until I can afford a, uh, a good antenna. Um, <clears throat> I, am, I might make one. I might make a dipole um, just with some wire. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, this Wuxian kind of, uh, <laughs> uh, I saved up for it, but I pretty much used all the money that I saved up to get this radio. So um, I pretty much now have like a dedicated ham radio budget, if you will. <laughs> so I got to wait till I can get some more money until I can get a uh, an antenna. And I also want to get a mast. And I don't know if my homeowners, if the homeowners association where I live allows... Uh, a permanent antenna structures or like towers and whatnot. Uh, I don't plan on putting in a tower because, well, this is my parents' house. This isn't my house, number one. Number two, I would like to have something portable. So I'm going to invest in a good tripod, um, a good tripod, a good antenna mast. Uh, even if it's PVC pipe, that's fine for me. Um, and... Uh, uh, tripod and mast and antenna. Plus, I need uh, I need some good I need some really good coax. So that's kind of my plan for right now. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, I will be YouTubing uh, some of my uh, QSOs, my contacts and whatnot uh, through the repeater or through Simplex um, because this is something I want to uh, I w I seriously want to promote. I want to I want to promote amateur radio. And I want to uh, uh, get it out there. And if any of my YouTube subscribers, um, present and future, want to, uh, uh, if they have any sort of interest in this hobby, that would be great. Um, and uh, yeah, um, maybe Ham Radio can make a comeback. It would be awesome if it would. Um, so yeah, for those of you that are hams, I'll see on the air. Um, I will be participating a lot on Echolink. There's an Echolink repeater about 13 miles from where I live. So I will be on that frequently. And uh, I'm looking forward to jumping on the repeater in Lara, Australia. Um, I forgot his call sign. But he has a uh, he has an Echolink node there. So I'm... Uh, Hoping to jump on jump on that one at some point. Anyway, I bl I babbled long enough. So you take care, guys. You have a good afternoon, a good day, good night, whatever time you're watching this video. And uh, we will um, we'll see you later. Enjoy your day. Peace out.